This is the moon, a cold, quiet sentinel in the blackness of space. To us, it's a beacon of dreams, a symbol of human ambition. But to those who've been there, it's a place of stark reality. No atmosphere, no sound, just the endless vacuum and the relentless pull of a world that is not as simple as it seems. Fifty-six years ago, a piece of that dream was left behind. A machine of impossible complexity and fragile beauty, a testament to what we can do when we set our minds to it. It was called Eagle, the ascent stage of the Apollo 11 lunar module. It carried Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin back to orbit, back to Michael Collins, back home. Then, it was cast off, abandoned to the heavens. The question is, where is it now? For decades, the answer was simple. NASA assumed the eagle was gone. We all did. After all, the moon is a lumpy, imperfect world. Its mass is not distributed evenly. It's got what are called mass cons, mass concentrations beneath its surface, remnants of ancient impacts. These mass cons exert a gravitational pull so strong it can tug on a passing spacecraft, pulling it off course causing its orbit to become increasingly unstable. Most objects left in low lunar orbit are doomed to a slow, spiraling descent. Their orbits decay, and they eventually smash into the surface in a final, silent, fiery end. The ascent stages of Apollo 12, 14, 15, and 17 were intentionally crashed into the moon for scientific purposes to generate seismic data for the seismometers left behind. Apollo 10's ascent stage was sent into a solar orbit, but the Eagle? Its impact was never confirmed. It was simply lost. The assumption was, it had crashed. The story was over. But in the world of science, a story is never truly over. A few years ago, an independent researcher named James Medor decided to revisit this cold case. He wasn't a NASA engineer with access to top secret data. He was a man with a question, armed with the most precise lunar gravity map ever created. This map was the result of the NASA GRAIL mission. Two probes, named Ebb and Flow, flew in tandem around the moon, measuring the minuscule changes in their relative distance from one another. By doing this, they were able to create an incredibly detailed map of the moon's gravitational field, revealing the mascons and all their hidden secrets.
Mador took this new data and fed it into NASA's own orbit modeling software. He ran the simulations, not to find the crash site, but to see if the Eagle could have survived. He expected to find a quick, sharp spiral down to the surface. He was prepared to close the book on the Eagle forever. But what his simulations revealed was something nobody expected. He found that the Eagle's orbit, under these new calculations, was not unstable. In fact, it appeared to be stable enough to have lasted for decades. It wasn't immune to the moon's gravity, but the simulations showed a periodic variation in its orbit that seemed to stabilize it over the long term, preventing it from spiraling into a collision. Even with tiny forces like solar radiation pushing on it, the Eagle remained in a stable orbit. The truth is, the Eagle might still be up there. This isn't just wishful thinking, it's science, but it's also a powerful lesson in accepting that the definitive answer might not always be the right one. This finding is a hypothesis, not a certainty. The Eagle was only designed for a 10-day mission, so it's possible that residual fuel or other hardware issues could have caused it to break apart. But from a purely gravitational standpoint, the data says it could have survived. This means that out there, in the silent dark, a piece of our history might still be flying. It's a ghost from the past, a silent testament to a time when we looked up at the stars and said, we can go there. And the most powerful part of this story is that we might be able to find it. Midor's follow-up work suggests that the Eagle could be detected by powerful radar if we know where to look. It would be a monumental effort, a needle in a cosmic haystack, but if we found it, if we brought it home, it would be the ultimate time capsule. It would be a final, tangible piece of the journey that started with one small step. So, is Apollo 11's lunar module still orbiting the moon? The truth is, we don't know for sure. But thanks to new science and the work of a curious mind, the hope is alive. And in the vastness of space, a faint, metallic echo of our greatest triumph may still be there, waiting to be found.